So we are going to ground your money piles today. I'm going to raise the vibration. So I'm going to measure beforehand the before and after. Uh, so right now, collectively, um, money is at about 500, which is the vibration of love on the Hawkins scale. But that's like I love chocolate. So we, we want to be a, in a, a much more admirable relationship with our money than just um, liking it. So um, chances are you have this uh, sort of adversarial relationship with your money. Yes, you love that when it's there, but then you resent it when it's not there and it disappears unexpectedly and it's not reliable. And, and so if this was a friend, and but then you were always mad at your friend for not being reliable or showing up and it it's, creates an adversarial relationship. So we're gonna see if we can start changing that by imagining a big pile of money sitting out in front of you. We're gonna put a grounding cord on it separate from your grounding cord. And we're going to start draining all the people and their energies in your money pile. So this money pile can represent a lot of things. It can re represent bitcoins and foreign money or gold bars, silver coins, um, a houses, uh, real estate. Um, I just, that's the same as houses. <laughs> um, whatever is part of your financial portfolio of abundance and whatever that looks like. So we're going to start grounding this pile first of your parents, whether they're alive or not, because it's the beliefs that are in the pile. So moms, uh, actually, well, no moms in our money pile, all these people, that's great. Okay, so let's see about dads. Yes, hardworking dads are in money piles here. We're just going to send him and all of his beliefs about money and how hard you should be working, struggling, suffering. Okay. And then if you have um, a partner or any exes, yes. So that's an influence on your money. I'm just going to send them down your grounding. And even for um, if you're in a relationship, um, that you still want to have, you, you, like you have money together, but it's also best if you have your own separate money that you either earn or that you somehow um, sequester to create some separate identities. <coughs> okay. Um, no, we're not clearing through our grounding cord. We're clearing through the grounding cord of the money pile. So this is a separate pile sitting out in front of us with a separate grounding cord. So we're not running it through our field yet, we're clearing. So we're just um, grounding all of these energies down the grounding cord. So partners, exes, um, well-meaning family, yes. Sometimes uh, we've got family that wanna borrow money or that, you know, maybe they lent us money and now they have their pocket hand in your pocket. Okay, so there we go. And then um, well-meaning friends. No, that's good. Um, for those of you who have children, yes, some children in money piles. They can put very high demands on our money. <laughs> okay, great. And then um, anything related to your job, like your boss? Yes. So some bosses in here. Whew. And, um, and then if you have uh, clients or um, maybe a business partner. Okay, nope. Anybody we've forgotten. Like people. And then <clears throat> last but not least, this is probably the most important energy um, because it's so insidious, and uh, this is the energy that owns most of the money on the planet. So that's the 1%. So we're going to clear them out of our money pile. Even if your vibration is at infinity, always do a run through of clearing them out. Okay, good. 
and any reptilian energies. Okay, great. So now this money pile is vibrating at infinity. So now we're going to imagine a liquid gold stream of energy coming out of this money pile. And it's going to come into our rings above our head. And it's going to start recalibrating all of those rings in our highest and best interests. So that how we uh, use money, manifest money, work with money, that it's all in our highest and best interests. So now as it's coming into the crown, it's stopping right there. So you want to give yourself permission to have what you desire with your rings, right? So in order to do that, we're going to clear the 15th layer of your permission circle, where the 1% is trying to influence your money because they want us to be free range slaves. And they want us working hard for the machine. There we go. Okay, good. So now as we're bringing this high vibration of money into the crown, let it stir in the crown so you can Fully give yourself permission for all of the desires you have with your money, prosperity, abundance. And so this is less about going out and working hard to get money. It's more about aligning to our natural frequency, which is abundance, just like the trees. So as we're bringing this high vibration of money into our crown, into the sixth chakra, into the throat, let it stir in here so you can have easy conversations around money. It's stirring in the throat, clearing any arguments maybe you've been having about money. Okay, good. So coming down through the throat into the heart, let's let it stir in here, clearing all of the judgments, all the coulda, woulda, shouldas with money, all the ways maybe you've been mismanaging money or not having the best and friendliest, most loving relationship with your money. Right there. Great. Let it stir in that heart. And when you think about um, money as there's lots of forms of money, is that it can feel welcome from the time it comes into your home in the form of a bill. So a bill represents what you spent money on, right? That helped you get something with money. And so as that bill comes in the door, make it feel welcome. Maybe have a nice little tray for it to land in, you know, that, that you show thanks for this bill instead of resenting it like, oh, no, no, I have to pay that. It's like, wow, so much gratitude for what that got, even if it's just turning on your electricity in your house. So um, great. Okay, so now this money is coming down through the heart into the solar plexus, where we're going to let it stir again, stirring, stirring, clearing all the effort, pushing, chasing, forcing with money. So as we clear the effort out of here, that allows more room for your feminine magnet to become activated. And so you need both of these energies here, both masculine energy that get, goes out and does things. We're not just sitting under our money tree meditating, waiting for money to fall on our head. We have to implement things. So we do that with the masculine energy, but then the feminine energy pulls things to us easily and effortlessly, like that idea to, to maybe call someone or to go somewhere and you happen to meet someone or you uh, go somewhere, you go left instead of right. And then you see a piece of information that you wouldn't have seen otherwise because you're paying attention. So all of these things work together so that you're getting things done and more ease is being brought into your life. Okay, as this high vibration of money is now coming into that second chakra, spilling down the root, so now you have this vertical alignment with your money. 
Now we're going to bring it up the front. So it gets the front of each of these chakras. So it's this pure golden energy of money. High vibration is coming up the front through the second chakra where it's stopping. So we're going to go out to the 15th layer and we're going to pull the 1% out of your second chakra so that you're not creating for them because they're always cracking the whip, always making it hard. And um, they don't care how hard it is because they operate with no heart. All right, there we go. So now we're bringing this high vibration of money up through that second chakra, which converts thoughts and beliefs and energies into physical things, physical reality. So this is a really important chakra. As we're bringing this up now into the solar plexus, that's going to get things done. Let's let it stir in here so it doesn't have to be hard. You can keep taking your next effortless action. There we go. Stirring, stirring, stirring. <clears throat> so now as we're coming up into the heart, let it stir in here so that Instead of feeling like, oh, I deserve that money because I worked really hard at, for it, you know, I earned it, that you can start changing this belief that money is your natural birthright because it's a reflection of your innate natural abundance, your innate, um, like when we look out at the trees, they're, they're not struggling unless they uh, naturally lose their leaves in the winter, but they're Come springtime, they're not worried about, oh, am I going to have enough leaves? You know, they don't, they don't think about that. The, it's just natural. But it's all these other influences that have caused us to not be abundant. And once you tap into your true nature, which you can feel it right here, that growing, glowing heart energy, that's your ability to self-generate love, self-generate your abundance it's all the same thing it's all the same energies believe it or not because <sighs> they're all working on the same principles of abundance <clears throat> all right so when we're coming up through the heart bringing this money up through the heart throat six crown rings there we go. Let it cascade down through all the layers of your aura. Mm. Um, so Katie's asking the question around, um, since she's retired, does she need to find another job um, to increase money. Well, that is that is one way of um, uh, increasing your money. Uh, but there's lots of ways. There's lots of ways of increasing your uh, financial prosperity. And so start being open to endless possibilities. It doesn't always have to be a job equals money. I've, I've lived in multiple many many million dollar homes without paying a penny because I did um uh, with house sit I used to do with trusted house sitters.com I lived in the most beautiful homes around the world uh without ever paying a penny and so that's just one one idea <laughs> um so there's lots of ways, it's like the possibilities are unlimited about how financial prosperity can come into your life. And um, it, it doesn't have to always equal working for money. So just start um, expanding. What we're doing here is we're expanding our radar. Our radar, instead of this little box of, oh, this is all you get, uh, the, we're expanding our radar. And so as we do that, more possibilities start to open up because you start opening yourself up to more possibilities, to what else is possible. And if you keep asking that question, how, how does it get better than this? I wonder, then new things are going to start showing up because you're not focused on this little box here. You're, you're 
radars expanded and way more possibilities that are beyond this start showing up. <clears throat> and uh, even something that could be that you enjoy as a hobby could start generating income. And so that certainly doesn't even feel like a job or work, something enjoyable. All right, so uh, let's see if we uh, cleared um, all the layers of the aura. We're gonna jump out to the 15th layer. We're gonna lift that 1% up and out of the energy field. All right. <laughs> okay, the rest of the aura is clear. So now let's take this high vibration of money from the heart out that right arm as it flows out into the economy. And now start bringing it into your left hand through the fingertips through the palm. So you're the one who's in charge of how much you receive and what you receive. Because you're the one, you're the only one that can allow yourself to let it in. There's abundance around us 24 seven. It's just a matter of whether or not you're gonna let it in. Okay, so through the front and back of the heart, throat, Let's get some easy conversations around money in here. <laughs> and then through the six chakra crown, through all of your rings. Ah, oh, doesn't it feel so much better? Yes, yes. Okay, great. 